Today we're going to be going over one of the most locked down coverages of Madden 24. It's going to be coming out of the dollar three two. Now this concept can be applied really to any formation that you're in, but I do believe that this blitz and this uh, coverage concept is going to work best out of the dollar three two defense. If you want to get my full dollar three two defense v book, we have just dropped a massive update to it, which a, with a brand new coverage concept out of the dollar. I think is really going to change the defensive meta. So if you want to check that out, we not only have the best blitz in the game in this formation. It's a symmetrical formation, so you can make everything look the same. And it also has a lot of different, probably the best, uh, the most plethora, if you will, of coverage options. So it just gives you the most amount of tools in your toolkit uh, to be able to stop most people. Now, to real quick, before we get too far into the video, I do want to let you know that um, when we're doing this defense, we want to go ahead and sub in and sub out pretty much all of our players. And we want to put them back in where we want them specifically. So um, because we are going to be using a, a specific package that is going to give us a, a pretty significant advantage with this coverage and it's really kind of the foundation for everything we want to do. So go ahead and sub all your players out and then back in at the positions um, that you want them to be at. So we'll put, uh, we'll go ahead and rock it just like this. And then uh, let me put Isaiah Polamalu in here. And then let's see, let's put uh, Jared Allen on the nose guard. And we need to actually... I would even sub in out your defensive lineman. Uh, there's also kind of a bug right now where sometimes like if they get fatigued, they'll literally take them out for the entire game. So that's kind of something else that I would just really encourage you to uh, to think about. Okay, so we're talking about a coverage defense and we're going to go on up against Indianapolis bunch because I do believe it's probably the most um, potent offense. It may not be the best offense, but it's the most potent um, within one formation, probably the most amount of powerful passing concepts uh, within one formation. So. Uh, let's get on the field and real quick at the packages. This is really important. You're going to flick your right joystick once uh, once to the right. It'll give you the free safety sub package. And then this is also really important in your coaching adjustments. You're going to turn auto flip defensive play call off. You're going to turn auto alignment to man. And then just make sure your zone coverage is on match if you're on next gen. And you're not going to be coming out and cover to man unless you want to only send three. If you want the threat to be able to send four, you want to come out and cover one LB blitz, and I'm going to explain why. I have uh, cover two man in my audible, so we'll, we'll explain why once we get on the field. So this four-man blitz out of dollar is probably the most meta blitz that we have right now in Madden 24, and I believe that it is the best blitz in Madden 24 um, just because of the fact that you can consistently get pressure sending four, and it also gets the pressure right up the A-gap, which is really difficult uh, for people to deal with. So. Um, we break down fully how to run this blitz to its most effectiveness in the ebook, but I did want to just show you like all you got to do pretty much um, is just pinch your defensive line and then you're going to use her down in here. Now, it's not going to come in every single time, but when it comes in, as you see right there, it kind of comes in. Um, it's really, really effective. Okay, so we have the four man blitz. You never want to do this. If you look at the blitz angles of your defensive line, you never want to do this out of cover two man. The reason why is if you look at that nose guard. The nose tackle is slanting to the right side, which is the main key to the blitz. Also, on the, the blitz angle of the linebacker, if you look, because the nose tackle is slanting to the right, the linebacker is kind of looping into the A-gap. So that's really the, the concept um, from the blitz perspective. Even if you don't get it pressured in, I think you get better sheds anyway. Okay, let's talk about cover two man, why this is a different defense. If you look at this blitz angle, number one, if you look at the nose tackle, you're going to see he's actually not stunting into the right. He's kind of essentially choosing. He's going to either go left or right. And then the linebacker is going more into the B gap, not into the A gap. This is why this blitz is pretty much never going to work. Um, every now and then it'll work just because this is how the game plays, but it's never going to work for what we want it to do. So if we want to send four, we want to be able to um, use that linebacker. Now, how does this? How does the coverage work behind it? Well, we're using the free safety sub package. So what I like to do is we're going to go ahead and we are going to put both of our safeties who have deep out zone knockout. This is going to allow us to put them in outside thirds. Now, the purpose of an outside third zone is it's going to do a better job at helping defend the sideline. Things like C routes, corner routes, uh, late deep crossing routes, stuff like that. So for the shading of our coverage, what do we want to do? We want to shade inside and underneath. And what you're going to see is this is going to really do a good job against a lot of stuff. Now, your primary user responsibility is you have to use the running back underneath. 
If the running back runs a wheel route, you don't really have to take him after he cuts up field. But basically, if you see you're, you're taking the running back, and look at that double post post route. It's probably the best post route of the game, and it's completely bagged. Now, if you want to send four, uh, three, then you can just run this out of cover to man, and here's how you'll do this. You'll go ahead and go to cover to man. You're going to press. Pen should be line. Crash should be line inside. From there, you're going to take this blitzing linebacker and man him up on the running back, and then you're going to outside third both of these guys, and you're going to rely on the stock shading of cover to man to be able to help you stop a lot of stuff. So if they run things like a corner, a street corner flat, and then maybe on the backside they run a wheel route, take a look at how this defense is going to play. Number one, you're going to get pretty decent sheds, but also I want to show you why this defense is so effective. If we jump into instant replay, you're going to notice that this corner route to the right-hand side is absolutely going to be, for the most part, he's bracketed by this outside third. What this, what this basic concept truly is, is almost like a, a, a bracket coverage uh, combo or hybrid out of man and zone. And what we're doing is we're bracketing the man coverage outside, and then we're telling everybody on the defense to cheat inside to take away some of the in-breaking patterns. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, Head down to the description, go sign up for the Patreon. It's $10. It'll we'll get you access to everything that we have. We'll guarantee you that it'll make you a better Madden player. Thanks for watching. When you go sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.